pocket, um, a hidden journaling um, flip, and a pocket. So that is what we are going to make today. Now, there is no rocket science whatsoever to this project, but I still think that it is a great way to use up um, some of these book pages, and it's just it's just pretty to add to a journal page. So let me show you how simply easy this really is. Um, I'm going to pull in my glue mat here just so that I don't make a mess on my desk. And I've got two pieces of um, two half sheets of my um, own coffee dyed paper. And all we are going to do for this one, guys, is we are going to um, just... Um, mat the back of our paper with our coffee dyed paper. That way, if we're going to use it as a um, hidden journaling spot, we have that um, we have it already matted. But also, it adds a second layer of strength um, for when you're using it as a pocket. So I don't think either one of those ways of using it is detrimental in any way shape or form so i am okay with matting it and um using it either way so i just have a little scraper here on my desk and i like to just um use it to make sure that all of my glue gets out to my edges and i'm not i'm not so worried about whether my paper's wrinkled or not to me it just is it's just character All right, just means less cutting that we have to do here. So I'll just grab my scissors and we will cut across the top here. And I noticed that this edge wasn't quite, didn't quite catch. So I'm going to just add a little bit right in there, make sure that it's glued down good and I'm going to cut the other one while I'm right here okay see this is this is some sort of serious business I got going on here I don't know if we can handle it All right, so now um, I'm going to just take my glue mat and get rid of that for you. Okay, so all I do here is if I want to do this as a, well, regardless. So I want to leave a little bit of an edge across the top. Um, so if we're using it as a double pocket, we have plenty of room, so I'm just finding a good spot here where I'm not losing much of my image or anything, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to fold that up there. Oh, I did a terrible job of folding. There is my bone folder. I was wondering where I hid it. I knew I had it at one point, but it has gone MIA, so there we go. And so what I might want to do now, because I just see that my backing isn't really straight, so 
I'm just going to go ahead and bring that over here to my paper trimmer. And I'm just going to give that a nice clean trim. That way everything is lined up perfectly. There we go. Now, I know that I'm going to use it as a pocket for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my divot in or around the center to mark that that's a pocket. And now I could do a couple things here. Um, so like this one, in order to do it as like a hidden journal spot, um, I put, I just turn the corner down as kind of like a nod to the fact that, hey, it moves. And then we're going to hold it into our journal with this little decorative paper clip here. Um, so that is how it would go it would shut on the journal page itself. Um, so for this one, I like how we have kind of nothing here. And so I feel like we could do the same thing here and just go ahead and notch down this corner here and signal that that is going to be a hidden journal spot. And because I'm going to make it a hidden journaling spot, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just add a little bit of interest via a stencil here and I'm going to grab my stencil brush, pardon my arm, and some potting soil and I'm just going to do a quick random little stencil in here and that just dresses that up a little bit um, and gives it a little extra edge um, of decoration for journaling. And I'm going to set that aside and then I want to go ahead and ink up all my edges just because I think it looks nice. So I'll just do a quick, quick ink here around all of these edges. Coming back across the top and into my divot notch. I don't know what you call it. I don't really know what the fancy word for it is, but you know, it is what it is. The little thumb hole. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop a little bit of glue right along here just to keep that glued down. Like so. And I mean, I could put like another butterfly or an embellished image or something on that, um, but I don't necessarily think it has to have it um, at all for that. And then now for the one that's going to be a double pocket, um, or it could be a, a journaling a flip down journaling page either way um, but this one same thing we want to make sure that we bring it down a hair just so that when it has room for those two pockets and same thing I don't like the look of my corners or my edges on this side so I'm going to trim that off and I'm going to trim this one as well just because I didn't do the best job there. And now for this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to notch my center one first or my lower pocket first. And basically that's going to allow me to do the notch for my top one. A little bit easier to make sure that they line up easier and if that's a problem you could always notch them on different corners etc so I'm gonna just again ink this up and then I'll show you how I would use these in a journal um, but this is just an easy fun quick little project for some of your more decorative pages um, that will really add extra interest and um, oomph on a page for you. So yeah, 
nothing super fancy here today guys nothing fancy just trying to come up with some quick projects and some quick ways to get rid of all of these book pages that I have laying about okay so there we have them now let me show you how I would use these in a journal so back to our trusty little journal and this is a pretty page here so now you could put this so this is the double pocket if I was putting this in a journal I would glue both sides down for that uh, to create that front pocket and then on the back I would glue so I would be gluing the back and the front here just on the sides and that would give me um, a pocket here and a pocket here now if I wanted to I could scoot this over to the corner here and not glue this one but glue the front so don't glue the back but glue the front and then that gives me the front pocket it gives me a tuck and then I would just be gluing the sides here for that tuck um, or I could use just the back pocket and just glue the back edges and then this is still a drop down journaling page here if you so wanted to do that or um, or not and then now the ones that are my drop down um, journaling pockets I could same thing same thing um, however you're not going to glue the front at all so you could glue the back three edges and then you have your pocket and your flip down front <clears throat> there for your hidden journaling spot or you could go and you could um, do just the bottom and the side as a tuck and then you have your flip down journaling spot and then to keep it even though the pockets going to be glued into the journal you want to keep that front flap closed and so you would just go ahead and secure that with a paper clip and there you have it so some hidden journaling spots double pockets um, super easy quick and easy way to make a couple extra pockets or journaling spots within your um, journal so super easy project no rocket science here um, but I appreciate that you hung out with me for a few minutes today and um, again an easy easy mass make um, that you could have at the ready to just grab and go for your next journal project um, I hope you guys might try these and um, I, I hope that you you found that this might be a good idea in some of your journals so I thank you thank you as always for being along in my crafting journey I thank you for being subscribers for sharing my channel for always commenting and being so kind um, and until the next time that we have a chance to craft and chat together um, I hope that you guys are well and I can't wait to see you in the next video take care friends bye bye